welcome to Cyber Nature, my YouTube channel. Hi folks, today's something different for me. I had to make a model of DNA as a project for science. So how did I get from this to the model you see? Well, I did a lot of research, so you don't have to. There are lots of ideas on the internet, but I'm no expert at crafts and wanted something simple. That's how I came up with the idea of using lollipop sticks and duct tape. The duct tape is flexible, which is important for the helix, which we need to twist. In reality, I ended up using more stuff, as you can see here. Now, a bit of science. DNA is a long molecule that contains genetic code. The double helix provides structural support to the molecule and this is what we are building here. A lot of what you see here was trial and error. It's important that you are precise and get the measurements right. You need to mark half of the width of the tape on the stick to prevent the helix from getting wonky. What I did was I cut two stretches of tape, both about 70 centimetres long, and put them in parallel on the floor. But you can use different measurements. Then I put the lollipop sticks on the tape, but only the bits I'd marked earlier. To keep the helix flexible, you need to leave space and have the sticks roughly the same distance from each other. And be careful, the tape is super sticky. Then you need to fold over the tape as you can see in the video. If things go wrong, don't panic and try to undo the bit that went wrong. Do each side in turn. And then you should test whether it can be twisted. Then you need to make sure you get the structure of the double helix right. This is what you need to know. Each strand of the ladder has a backbone of alternating sugar and phosphate. So you need to somehow reflect this on your model. I use this blue tape for this bit, but you can also draw it on with a waterproof marker. That may be a little less work. Make sure you attach the tape well on both sides. Then you need to make sure you get the stretch of the double helix right and match up the base pairs. The horizontal bars are made out of four building blocks. They are called adamine, thymine, cetacin and guanine. But don't worry about the names for the model, just name it A, T, C and G. The last thing you need to know is that A always pairs with T and C always pairs with G. And watch out, you need to label the bars on both sides. Don't get confused here. And there you are, many hours later. All you now need to do is to twist the helix and find a safe way of presenting it. I used this cardboard box and used some more of the tape to attach the ends of the model to the box. I hope you found this video helpful and good luck with making your own model. As always, thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and watch my other videos.